What's going on guys? It's me Jiggly and I'm back with another Minecraft mod block spotlight tutorial for you. And today that one's on the reactor control rod from Big Reactors. Let's get into this. Alright guys, like all other Minecraft blocks, you gotta know how to craft them. So starting it off, let's go ahead and take a quick peek at that on this reactor control rod. This is what we've got. Just like some of the other ones in the Big Reactors mod, you got the four casings on the corners, three graphite bars, one redstone, and one yellow ram ingot. And that'll give you the reactor control rod. Now, on a reactor here, we need to look at, um, where's this go? Well guys, it goes right on top. And why it goes on top is because it's gotta sit on top of the fuel rod. Okay, this is the controller that you can adjust turn it up turn it down whatever you would like to do and you can even name it so depending on what you want to name it we could just say test set uh, and then right here changing the control rods insertion higher insertion slows reaction rate so you're essentially like um, you're essentially changing how much RF per tick you can make uh, the less you use for the reaction rate the more you save on your fuel cost Lower, reactive rate, lower reaction rates reduce heat, energy, radiation output, and fuel consumption. So, But you sacrifice how much RF per tick you put out. So that's where that can come back to haunt you or help you. So if I was to put, um, let's see, if I was to get uh, three more yellow rheum ingots here and put those in our reactor like that, we turn it on. So if guys remember right now, we're not, we're not decreasing it any right here on the control rod okay now this thing should be full power and it is it's putting out 265 okay so and it's it's putting out a waste product of 0.28 millibuckets 0 0.28 millibuckets so now let's decrease that by half 50 percent we want 50 percent now you can see it's only wasting 0 0.014 millibuckets per tick but it's also only given us about half the RF flux per tick. So you can kind of, I mean, if you don't need to, if you don't have a way to store a bunch of excess energy and you don't want to, you can always, you can always decrease that to like increase your, uh, like if you're only, say you build this and you're only running like uh, redstone furnace, pulverizer, kind of minimal startup setup, um, you might want to turn that down, which is what I've done in some of my mod Let's Play videos. So that's what the reactor control rod can help you do okay and it sits on top of a fuel cell which if I was to break this open you would see we have a fuel cell in there and of course that's what's holding um, that's what's holding our ingots if you have missed that block tutorial make sure you go check it out it's on my channel so essentially you just always gotta have the control rod on top of a fuel rod okay it's always gotta be on top otherwise you'll never complete the reactor it will never turn for you you gotta have a reactor control rod it is essential so in, but you can have like four like this for instance and you can have four control rods okay but you gotta have them all enclosed so and it doesn't matter if you do that or sky high now there is a limit depending on what you have set in your um, settings for how tall or how big your reactor can be there is a default one I think it's 32 by 64 blocks um, but you might want to check your config file but that, guys, is the reactor control rod. It sits on top of the fuel cell, and that's how you can uh, that's how you can um, control your uh, um, your fuel cells, and you can you can control how much rate they're going to burn at, and that'll of course affect your um, RF output and uh, your consumption of fuel. So I hope that's been helpful, guys. I hope you're enjoying this um, mod block video tutorials. If you are, smash that like button, guys. Be sure to share it with your friends and family and all your fellow Minecraft friends. Um, yeah, be sure to check out another video on the channel. And uh, got some Let's Play series going. Got the mod tutorials going. So as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, though. And take care. I'll see you in the next one.